Hi, now here we have a question on transformations of graphs. We've got the graph of y equals f of x, which is shown here, for x between and including minus 2 to 2. And then what we've got to do is sketch the graph of y equals f of minus x, and then sketch the graph of y equals f of x plus 2 for the domain x between and including minus 2 to 2. So if you haven't done this question already and like to have a go, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So for the first one, sketch the graph of y equals f of minus x. Well, what this does is that it takes the graph of y equals f of x and it reflects it in the y-axis. So we've got a copy over here of y equals f of x. And if we reflect, say, this branch of the graph in the y-axis, it's going to look like this. And if we take this branch of y equals f of x and reflect in the y-axis, it's going to look like that. So there we go. That's the graph then of y equals f of minus x. A reflection then in the y-axis. If you had a negative out the front, if it was y equals negative f of x, that would have been a reflection in the x-axis just whilst we're here. So you should be familiar with these type of transformations. Next one is sketch of the graph y equals f of x and then plus 2. And what this does is it takes the graph, let's just trace over it, it takes the graph of y equals f of x and it translates it two units parallel to the y-axis. So in other words, what happens is that this graph moves upwards one unit, two units parallel to the y-axis. So you're going to get something like that. OK, and so that is the graph of y equals f of x and then plus 2. A translation then of two units parallel to the y-axis. Now if you're unsure of any transformations of graphs, I've got plenty of tutorials on my website that you might like to uh, check out. OK, 